The Education Fund 2020 Idea Expo Virtual Teacher Conference. Here's a visual of the Microsoft Teams meeting control bar. So after the meeting is over, access the meeting chat by clicking the chat app in the app bar on the left rail. Access the meeting chat during the meeting by clicking the chat icon in the meeting control bar. So let's get social. Hashtag EdFund Expo 2020. Welcome to visual arts and culture virtually, seeing the world through recycled objects. Grades one through five students will begin this five activity unit with the introduction of five cultures through art and found objects. So I've had over 27 years of teaching, but it was a big shock and change in every way to start teaching virtually. Not just teaching, but creating art online with 20 art scholars. Well, let's get started with visual arts and culture virtually. When my administration told me I had to teach virtually, I didn't even know where to begin. But to my surprise, it went really great. In fact, this packet helped me feel a little bit grounded, aligned, and honestly engaged with the sense of normalcy that I was needing during the quarantine. So each project has a list of supplies that students may find easily accessible. Take a look. The Legend of the Blue Willow, prehistoric cave paintings, wire sculptures, wigged out, and color wrapping. We started our journey with the Legend of the Blue Willow, coming from ancient China. During the quarantine last year, we created a YouTube channel and showcased a weekly lesson. This lesson in particular was very successful. In the next part of the video, I read the legend in detail, but for today's purpose, I'll just explain that it's a charming tale of an angry father pursuing his daughter who's eloping with a commoner. After they flee, together, the young couple are transformed into two beautiful white doves. Students would send me their final works, so we created an art scholar showcase, and this showcased some of the work that they would send me and some of their process. They'd even show me some videos, which were really cool. Students make connections between the legend of the Blue Willow and Romeo and Juliet, love that is forever across any culture. Visit my pre-recorded lesson to see step-by-step -step instructions to make your own handmade blue willow plate. Here's the link to my pre-recorded lesson, but here's also another link that's really cool because it's an animated version of the blue willow legend. These are the step-by-step -step instructions that you can see on the YouTube channel's pre-recorded lesson. So this is where I'll pause the presentation so we can discuss, or if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. So our second project was prehistoric cave painting, and the kids really found power in prehistoric art. The resources for this lesson include the cave painting lesson that I've pre-recorded, on my YouTube channel, but it also includes a take a tour 3D version of walking through prehistoric caves in France. The works are incredible. Again, these are just some step-by-step -step instructions. These are important visuals that I wanted to show my students. They depict the hunt, the art of hands, and animal gestures. Hi art scholars, this is Mrs. Alfaro. Have you ever wondered why cave art is so fascinating and important? After the end of this project, we will understand why. Most examples of cave art have been found in France and in Spain. 
but a few are also known in Portugal, England, Italy, Romania, Germany, Russia, and Indonesia. Your students could modify the materials on the supply list. Most students don't have pastels, but crayon and watercolor are a wonderful way to make a resisted look. I thought this was a really clever idea for young children where you make a cardboard box become the cave. So this is where I'm going to pause the video again. Um, you have any questions, comments? Let's talk. During our first weeks of school, we offered a very small art workshop for kids who were working at home virtually. And we had about eight kids in our workshops and we started with wire sculptures. This activity could be tricky with younger students, but what we did was we broke everything down and did a step-by-step -step instruction, and that seemed to help us greatly. Today, we wanted to show some possibilities of making art at home. With items you can find at home. Our first possibility is to create a gesture or a figure out of wire. After we collected our materials, we then introduced figure proportions. It did take some time, but our flat gestures became a form. Once the gesture was completed, we had an adult glue it onto the base, which is the cardboard. The possibilities are endless with wire. I wanted to mention with this activity, we had two art teachers, myself and Miss Paula, our fantastic high school art teacher that we both collaborated together. It made it a lot easier to reach all, you know, all the students in the class. Questions, comments, let's talk. So now let's move on to wigged out. Well, this was one of my favorite activities. Um, we discovered how human civilization had a wonderful wigs since antiquity. Let's view the video that we created together. To the wonderful world of wigging out art workshop with Mrs. Alfaro and Miss Paula. Throughout ancient civilization, many cultures adopted the wig into everyday fashion. Wigs were a really great way to improve personal appearance and disguise hair loss. And it was also a great way to control the really, really nasty headlights problem back in the day. There are many resources on the internet and I found some really fantastic visuals and ideas for even curling parts of the wig using paper and found objects. Really for this assignment, it's very easy. You're just gonna have all your paper cut into thin strips. You're gonna need a paper plate and some glue. And the kids can do most of it themselves. We gave them some reproductions to look at. As you can see, there's no fooling around. We're very serious about our wig making business. So these are some of our results. Hope you enjoy them. This is where we'll pause for questions and comments about this assignment. Let's talk. We finally come to the end of our workshop or our online virtual school and we created these beautiful yarn wrappings. We wanted to end with embracing the vibrant colors and patterns of specific works within Mexican yarn painting. Then we decided that we wanted to wrap found objects around the house. We created a video together um, on my YouTube channel and here's the link. So all we really needed was some yarn, some beautiful colored yarn, some a glue and some forms. It could be a plastic cup or things you can find around the house. And literally all you're going to do is wrap. You're going to wrap the string 
around your object very carefully without overlapping it, and you end up with some very beautiful designs. You can see the full video on the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel that we created over quarantine. But if you have any questions, comments, let's talk. Thank you so much for attending my workshop. I appreciate your patience and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Enjoy the expo.